everybody welcome back to this channel before i get started lord i come before you humble give me a thanks and give you praise thank you for who you are oh god asking that you touch the ears of the people that will hear it their heart to receive oh god and give them a desire lord god and a hunger and a thirst after righteousness in the mighty name of jesus and Holy Spirit, I ask that you word my mouth because you know what needs to be said and how I need to say it, Holy Spirit. And Lord, I thank you and I praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, today we're going to talk about um, not being distracted. Um, I had a dream the other night where I was distracted, where the enemy, um, uh, the devil himself was trying to distract me and I was turned into a parking lot, um, but before I can get in the parking lot, it was this old man, pedestrian, walking by. So of course I had to stop. And this old man, um, he was slowly walking by, slowly walking by. So um, I waited patiently on him. So I'm watching him, my eyes is on him, my mind is on him, and he's slowly walking on light. Then at one point, it seemed like as he was walking by really slow, he'll stop and he'll sort of like, um, I don't know, I want to say like do a happy dance or something. But anyway, um, me seeing that he was an old, old um, elderly, I was patient and just waiting. So then he would do, I guess, like a happy dance and he'll start walking slow again, like barely making it cross. But it seemed like it took him a long time to get um, across so I can go in the parking lot. So all of a sudden, I'm sitting there out of nowhere. Here's this big truck. Boom. So um, I thought I was like pretty much gone, to be honest. But I looked down at myself. Uh, no blood, no nothing. Um, I was able to get out, and for some reason, I had like a baby. Now, in real life, I don't have, I don't have babies. Um, but I had a baby in the back. But it seemed like more. The truck tried. The truck hit that whole side. But in the dream, I could feel like it was coming for um, the baby, but to destroy both of us. But it was like mainly after the baby. So. Um, but I was able to get out, wasn't hurt or anything. So I went around to check on the baby. Um, the baby looked like it was really hurt, like, but it wasn't. So um, when I woke up, so that was that. So when I woke up, the Lord showed me that was a distraction. The old man was the distraction. Because after that, the old man vanished. Um, didn't see him anymore. I didn't even see... Uh, the person that was driving the truck, nothing. So I was really distracted. The old man really distracted me. So my thing is, um, the Lord showed me it's a spirit of distraction out there. So when the spirit of distraction is out there, we really have to be careful. We have to be careful. Because while we're focusing, we could be going along, doing our daily thing, working on certain projects, um, um, having peace in our home having peace on the job um it could be anything and all of a sudden it could be any distraction and when the devil throws out distraction he's out to to kill steal or destroy so we have to be careful with distractions and with that being said i have two scriptures i want to go over the first one is first peter five and it's going to be verse 8. Um, stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are. Now, I feel because I'm a woman of faith, because I trust and depend on the Lord the way I do, and I stay before Him constantly, 
my spirit man was strong enough to withstand that. The plan of the enemy could not prosper. Couldn't do anything to me. I was able to walk away because of my spirit man. Because I trust in the Lord so. But because I stay before him. Because I read. Because I fast. Because I, I fast also. I'm built up on nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. So when the enemy try to come in. When he's seeking whom he can devour and he try to come in and destroy and, and, and try to hurt, bring harm to you, it's not going to prosper because of your spirit man. And I believe I was able to get out because of my spirit man. Um, it couldn't bring any harm to me. But he distracted me through that old man. So we have to watch out for distractions because distractions is so the enemy can bring in what he want to bring in in our lives. Rather it's destruction, rather it's harm, rather it's sickness, rather it's disease, rather it's um, whatever it may be. We have to keep our eyes on the prize and that's Jesus. We have to keep our eyes on him. We have to stay focused. Because as soon as we take our eyes off, the distractions come in. And even if we're distracted, we have to ask him to give us discernment. So if we're distracted, it can, we'll only be distracted for a moment. We'll see that it's a distraction. And we'll be able to call it out. And we'll be able to get back on track. So we have to be aware of distractions. Okay, Hebrew, Hebrews 12, 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. If I wasn't in Christ, if I wasn't serving him the way I'm serving him, if I wasn't standing before him the way I see before him, I probably would have saw, I know I would have saw a different outcome in that dream. But because I'm doing what I'm doing, and that's number two, Hebrews 12, number two, we do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of that, the enemy is not able to destroy me. He's not able to kill, steal, and destroy. So my thing is to you today, be careful on what you let him distract you, distract your walk. Guard your ears and your eyes so you won't be distracted. Keep your focus on all things above because we're in a season where I feel that, where I know that God is getting ready to move like never before. So the enemy is going to have things out there to distract us. He's going to do things in our lives to distract us. Because his thing, more than anything, want us to, to miss the move of God. But we got to stay focused. We have to stay focused. So we won't miss the move of God. So we have to begin, not that things not going to happen and we shouldn't pay attention to them. But let's pay attention according to the way the Lord wants us to pay attention to them. Let's seek him first. And then he'll give us the answers to those things. Let's not seek those things first. Let's seek him first. And he'll give us the wisdom that we need to handle those distractions. And with that being said, Lord, I come before you thanking and praising your God. For giving us the discernment, oh God. 
and showing us distractions, oh God, that comes in our lives, oh God, to distract us, oh God, so we won't see the, your hand, oh God, in our lives, so we won't see your hand, oh God, and what you're doing, oh God, in this world, in this country, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. So Lord, I thank you and I praise you, oh God, for giving in every person that will hear this, a, a, a spirit of um, discernment, oh God, that Lord God, and open their eyes to distractions in their lives, oh God. Those things that easily beset, beset them, oh God. Lord God, that they would know how, oh God, to set them aside, oh God, through you, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we just pray for the ones that don't know you. Lord, that you would give them a heart of repentance, oh God. And Lord, I thank you. And Lord, I praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And with that being said, until next time, repent.